Oh, there's the mockers and the scoffers. Oh, yes, they are. Yes, they can't endure sound doctrine here. Oh, no, they love their football. Get ready for your entertainment. They're getting you wet. Get ready for your entertainment, right? Your football, your sports, your idolatry. Jesus said no idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of heaven. But you don't believe the words of God, do you? You think you can have one foot in the world and one foot in the kingdom of heaven, don't you? Don't you? Oh, that's the American church. Pastor Greg says it's okay to love your football, right? While well, he's feeding on the people here, right? So you're taking away he's right feeding on the speak. people here. You're taking away our right What's to speak? That? Oh, you can speak. I'm trying to, and you're well, talking over I'm me with preaching, that thing. Well, I'm preaching, sir. I'm preaching, yes. Baby, I want to talk to him. All right. I'm preaching. Pastor Greg, better stop feeding on the sheep here. Can I just talk oh, it's time to actually start doing the things that Jesus said. It's time to start doing the things that Jesus said, but people don't want to do what Jesus said. Oh, they just want to argue. Can't they can't talk. endure sound doctrine here, talk. can they? They can't endure sound doctrine, can they? Oh, evil men and imposters would grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, and that's the American church. Feeding on the flocks, building buildings, extracting money. Oh, they don't like the words of Jesus here, do they? They don't like the words of Jesus. Jesus said, if your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Oh, they don't believe the words of Jesus. Jesus Jesus loves the truth, and they don't love the truth of the churches anymore. They have another Jesus. It's a Barney Jesus. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things I command? Those are the words of Jesus. I'm giving you scriptures, and you're giving me Barney talk. I'm giving you scriptures, and you're talking like Barney. How sad it is you can talk when I'm done preaching, sir. You can talk when I'm done preaching. Oh, you don't know what preaching is because you have haven't heard it here. Jesus You've had your you. ears tur tickled. Yes, Jesus loves you, but you're not loving him following your football idolatry here. You're not loving Jesus with your idolatry. You're not loving Jesus trying to stop the preaching. Oh, here's the powerless, pathetic church. Oh, Jesus said these signs would follow them to believe he did. He said these signs would follow them to believe in my name, Jesus said. They would cast out devils. How many devils have been cast out here at this church? How many devils have been cast out? No, there's no devils being cast out because there's no power of God here. There's no power of God here. It says they would have a form of godliness, but they would deny his power. And that is the American church. They don't like the words of Jesus here. They don't like the words of Jesus here at these churches. No, that is the I word of Jesus. The arguing, the loud mouth women. Jesus said, God said that he loves the quiet and gentle spirits. That's what he loves from women, but that doesn't exist here in America, does it? There are very few quiet and gentle spirits. Oh, Pastor Greg has been feeding on the people here a long time. This is the American way, isn't it? This is the American way for the pastors to enrich themselves. They won't follow in the example of Paul. Oh, Second Thessalonians, you may want to open it up. It talks about the Apostle Paul. He worked day and night. He bought his own bread. Yes, that was the Apostle Paul. But the American churches, they love to, they want to feed on the sheep, don't they? They won't follow in the example of Paul. No, they love to feed on the flock. And you won't hear about Ezekiel 34 here, will you? Ezekiel 34, it talked about the shepherds of Israel. They were feeding on God's sheep, and he delivered his sheep from the mouths of the shepherds. And he's getting ready to deliver his flock from the mouths of the shepherds that have been feeding on him. Uh, but Paul said the time would come when they could not endure sound doctrine. And we're seeing this here today in the American churches. They can no longer endure sound doctrine. But according to their own desires, because they have itching ears, they would heap up for themselves teachers, just like you've done. You've heaped up for yourself a teacher. And they turn their ears away from the truth. Your ears have been turned away from the truth and you've been turned aside to fables. Yes, that's the American churches, the powerless, pathetic American churches, where they know only how to do one thing, and that's build buildings and extract money from the giving units. Oh, that's what they call the people in the American churches and seminaries. They call you giving units. Yes, but you don't know that because your pastor is not going to tell you what they call you in seminaries, but they call the people of God giving units. Oh, and most of the people here, they love to be fed on by the, by the shepherd, right? The smiley shepherds that feed on the flocks of God. Well, Pastor Greg, today is your warning. Today is your warning. James, James said it. James said not many of you should want to be teachers because you will receive a strict judgment. Today is your warning, Greg. 
today is your warning. Many, many pastors will be cut down in this nation because they're not preaching his truth. No, they're just living on the fatlings, feeding on the flock, but they don't, they don't preach the truth. They don't preach the words of Jesus. Most of the people in the American churches don't even know how they know God. They know how to just say, we love you, we're smiling. It's the Barney Church. It's the Barney Church in the American churches. But they don't actually do what Jesus said. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not follow my commands? He said, many will come to me on that day. This is the words of Jesus. You probably won't hear these words in your church. But Jesus said, many will come to me on that day. And they'll say, Lord, didn't we do all these things for you? Didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we cast out devils in your name? Didn't we do many mighty things in your name? And he'll say, depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. I never knew you. He said, depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. There are going to be many people that thought they were Christians. They thought they were Christians. Oh, they thought because they kept saying love, they kept saying love that they're Christians. But Jesus is going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. You're not going to read that here, are you? You won't hear about Matthew 7 here, will you? No, it's not very nice, is it? The words of Jesus aren't very nice. Move back to the right. They just keep turning on sprinkles. Yes, and, and if Jesus were here today rebuking you, Jesus says, those that I love, I rebuke and chase. And so he said, be zealous and repent. But the American churches won't repent. They love their idolatry. They love their wolves. They love their wolves that are feeding on the flock. Oh, yes, the loudmouth church that knows how to do one thing, and that's cheer for the Cowboys or cheer for the Buffalo Bills, right? You love your football here, don't you? Don't you? Don't you? What a shame it is. What a shame it is. Folks, it's time to wake up because judgment is coming. Judgment is coming, and it will find you. And there will be no escape from it unless the Lord himself delivers you. But that's going to require something from the people here. Will you get the pollution out of your out of your houses? Will you cleanse your hands and purify your hearts? Yes, it's time for a cleansing. It's time for a purification. Oh, it's time to stop with the entertainment. It's time to stop with the sports. Oh, but you love, you love your idolatry here, don't you? You love your Instagram here, don't you? That's the American church friends of the world and the bible says if anyone loves the world or the things of the world the love of the father is not in them is the love of the father here or is greg in here working the sprinklers is he working the sprinklers god's is that how they welcome you here god's, gonna work fire god's going to work fire you may be able to throw water but god's going to pour down fire on this nation and judgment will begin first at the house of god but you can't endure sound doctrine here you can't even hear the words of Peter, 1 Peter chapter 4.